Well, it's time to get the day started. I'm in First John. Oh, First John two, four through six. He who says I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whosoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says uh, he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. It's one thing to read your Bible uh, and, and please I'm, I'm not getting preachy I'm not trying to teach I'm not trying to trying to change anybody's theology This that's not what this is I just I like to read a little word before I get on the road um, just that and I thought I'd start sharing it a little bit um like it says over here in one nine, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's first John one nine. Um no, it's just as I get older in life, the more I roll down roll down this road never know when you're going to get home to your family. So, always want to have the Word of God in my heart. You never know when you're going to go home. The other home. Amen. Alright, everyone. On that, let's go get a day started. Let's go get Vancouver. Let's go get Seattle. Hope you enjoy the Word. Love you.
this is Georgetown, just south of uh, Seattle. Yep, our guy is still there. Haven't been here in a couple of months. He's still down in there. He's got himself all covered up. I call this the eatery row, little bar row. I've never eaten in here, but I've been told there's some pretty nice places in here to get some pretty good eats. Nice old buildings. Uh -huh. Greenland, baby. Got a weird looking silo here on the right at this brewery right here. Looking down at you. <laughs> okay, another green light. Woo! Yeah. Oh boy. I gotta get around this guy. Okay, let's get up over to Viaduct. And for your viewing pleasure, straight ahead, there's the needle, there's the ship lanes. That'd be Seattle. You can even see the stadiums from here, just on the other side of that building with the green boulder on top of it. Alright guys, well I'll get back to you and oh yeah, I want to show you guys because this is a reality still. As I make my left turn up here, you look up underneath that interstate, which is Interstate 5, You'll have all kinds of encampments. There you go, that's Interstate 5 up there. Yep. They got all kinds of stuff going on in there. It's not on TV. That's just real. Alright guys, I'll get back to you.
Truck Stop B. I think that's the name of this place. Yep. We only got 657 miles in on the day. We are good. So how's everybody doing? Yep. We're going to roll this up. As you can see, we got dinner cooking. We're going to edit this up. Got a lot of footage today. I got to I gotta do some compiling. Um, I want to say something real quick because I want to I want to get your guys' opinion on something. Um, I have a curtain here that while I'm driving, I can I guess I can set it right here to where I can still see my mirror. But I don't know. I don't know that I really agree with that. They make these curtains you know so you can still see through I just don't know if I'd want my curtain doing that I mean anything could happen you know ish happens all the time yes we call it ish so Annette tomorrow we're going to get up and we're hoping to make it to our rest area in uh, somewhere over there west of uh, or east of uh, Forsyth. It looks like North Dakota is getting snow right now, so hopefully it'll be cleared up by the time I get there. Yes. One of you guys mentioned something about this truck stop. This is only my second or third time I've parked here, so... Because the Loves is is that way about 10 miles, 9, 10 miles. And the rest area is 20 miles that way. The uh, reason we didn't make it there is because, well, Seattle took longer. We were there for a good hour and a half before we got out of there. So we were running on our 14 clock, 14 hour clock, not our 11 hour drive clock. So whenever your 14 hour clock goes below your drive clock, I shut down, I had nothing left on my 14. and still had a half hour of drive clock, but you can't use it because it went under your drive clock. When you go negative on your 14, we can explain that at another time if you all want to know. For those that may not know what that is. Excuse me. So, enjoy the day. I love you guys. As always, Lord willing, we'll do this again tomorrow.